Hey guys, in this video we are going to be making the toes of the dinosaur baby booties. If you have not made the basic shoe pattern yet, you need to go check out this video in this link here. The link is also in the description. This is what the basic shoe looks like. You'll need to make that first and then come back to this video. So for this video, you'll need an F hook, some scissors, a yarn needle, some orange for the spots, and some green for the toes. You'll also need a small amount of fiber fill. All right, to get started with the toes, start with a magic ring. And in that magic ring, we're going to single crochet four times. One, two, three, and four. And then you're going to pull your loop closed. For round two, we are going to put one single crochet in the first stitch. And then you will increase in the next stitch. And you'll do that two times. So one single crochet in the next stitch and then increase in that last stitch. All right, and then you can kind of pop out that uh, point of that toe. As we move on to round three, you're gonna do the same pattern as the last one. So single crochet in the first stitch, increase in the next stitch. And you will do that three times. Okay, and that's the end of round three. For round two, we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches and then increase in the third. And you will repeat that three times. So two single crochets and then increase. And then do that one more time. All right, and then at the end of this round four, you'll have 12 stitches. So let's go ahead and cut that uh, center thread, shorten it up. And then you'll wanna cut uh, not too long of a, a, a tail and then go ahead and close off that, that toe. Now you're gonna wanna make two more toes. Bef at the end of the third toe, do not cut your yarn. All right, in this round, we are going to connect the toes. So with your third toe that you made, you're going to single crochet in the next six on that toe. So make six more single crochets around. All right, at the end of those six, you're going to grab your second toe, and in the last stitch after you finish it off, you're gonna go ahead and put your yarn in, or your hook in, sorry, and then you're going to single crochet into that stitch. So that connects your two toes together. And then you're gonna single crochet in the next five stitches on that toe. All right, that finishes that. So let's grab the third toe and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go in that next available stitch and we're going to make another single crochet into it. All 
right, so toe three is connected. Now on this toe, you're just gonna single crochet in each stitch around, so that'll be 12 single crochets all the way around that toe. Now you're going to go into the next available stitch on the middle toe and crochet, single crochet in the next six on the middle toe. And you're going to do that again back on that first toe go in the next available stitch and crochet single crochet six times Okay, and that completes that first round. We are all connected now. Okay, so at this point, we are going to weave in those threads in the middle, and we're gonna actually use them. There's some small holes in between each toe. We're gonna use this thread to kind of close those. So this is what those holes look like. And you're just gonna weave that thread through until it's closed. Okay, and then push it back through to the other side. And then we'll just trim that off. And then repeat that with that second thread. trim that one and then we've got those out of the way so we don't have to worry about that. So that's round one of connecting the toes. Okay at this point I go ahead and use a stitch marker just to keep track and I always put mine in the last stitch that I made of each round. All right for round two we're gonna start with five single crochets in the next five stitches. So one single crochet in the next five stitches. Okay, after the five, you're gonna make a decrease over the next two. And then you're gonna single crochet in the next four. After your four, you're going to decrease again. Next, you are going to single crochet 10 in the next 10 stitches around. Okay, after those 10, you're gonna decrease again. And then single crochet in the next four stitches.
after those four, you'll decrease one more time. And then single crochet in the last five stitches. All right, for round three, you're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch around. So in this round, there will be 32 stitches. For round six, we're going to start off with single crocheting in the first six stitches. After your six stitches, you're going to decrease. And then you will repeat that pattern four times around. So six single crochet and then decrease. All right, for round five, you're just going to single crochet one in each stitch around, and at the end of this round, you will have 28 stitches. Okay, for round six, you are going to single crochet in the first five stitches.
and then after that fifth stitch you're going to decrease over the next two and then you'll repeat that pattern around. So five single crochet and then decrease four times around. At the end of this round you'll have 24 stitches completed. Okay, and for our last two rounds, round seven and eight, you are just going to single crochet one in each stitch around. And for the end of both of these rounds is going to be 24 stitches. Okay, and that finishes round eight, so we are going to slip stitch into that very next stitch. And then you're gonna finish off your yarn and you're gonna want a fairly long tail for this because we're gonna be sewing it directly onto the booty. And this is what your dinosaur toes will look like when you are finished. Okay, we are going to start the spots. Now we'll start with the small ones with a magic ring. And in your magic ring, you are going to want to single crochet six times. Okay, and pull that loop closed and you'll slip stitch to the very first single crochet that you made. All right, and cut a long tail for sewing. Pull that closed. And then make sure your center thread is tight and then you can go ahead and trim that off. Now go ahead and make two more small spots and then we'll move on to the two larger spots. 
All right, to make the large spots, you'll make your magic ring again. And this time we're gonna use half double crochet. So you're gonna put eight half double crochet in your circle. Alright, now pull your tail closed on that and slip stitch to that very first stitch that you made. And then you'll finish off this spot just like you did the last one. And you're going to want two large spots, so you'll need to make one more. So that's three small spots and two large spots. All right, this is what our finished booty is gonna look like. So let's get started on assembling. So you're going to grab your toes, and the very first thing we're gonna do is add some fiber fill to each toe. You don't need a lot, so you're just gonna wanna stuff each toe and don't stuff above that. It doesn't have to be very firm, just enough to kinda give it some shape. And that's what it will look like. Just kind of stuff that down in there really good. Okay, and go ahead and thread your needle with your yarn tail. And then you're going to fit the toes onto the booty. Just kind of move it around until you get it to where it's in the position it needs to be and push it up as far as you can. And then you're just gonna stitch all the way around the toes onto the booty. All right, and now you're gonna to wanna to weave that end in as soon as you get back to the beginning. And then trim that off, and we have our toes attached to our shoe. And now we will go and sew on all of our spots. All 
All right, so you can place these anywhere you want, but here's where I place one of my big spots on. And you're just gonna show, sew right around each spot until it's all the way secure. And then you'll weave in those ends and cut your yarn. And then you'll move on to the next spots. And I'll show you when you're done where I place all my spots at. All right, to give you an idea of placement, I put my spots in this um, form, but you can literally put them anywhere you want. Anything would be cute. Um, I always put two up front here, kind of close together. But have fun with it and put your spots wherever you want, wherever you like them, and your booty is finished. So you're gonna wanna go back and watch the video again to make your second booty. I hope you enjoyed this pattern and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons for more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.